Hello all, this video is an NPK soil sensor to determine soil fertility by measuring nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium in mg bar kg. The NPK sensor used in this video has got three stainless steel probes. There is also five probe variant which has got good epoxy seal. It has got IP68 rating which is protected against moisture, rust, dust and salt. The supply voltage required is 5 volt to 30 but typical uh, is 12 volt 1 amps and it supports RS485 protocol and data is available at RS485 protocol which is Modbus RTU master slave protocol it has got four wires that is brown wire is 12 volt and the black is ground blue is always B that is RS485B and the yellow is A we will be using Arduino as master and uh, to communicate between Arduino and MPK sensor, we require this RS485 to TTL. But this uh, available in the market has got some issues. So we'll be using MAX13487 RS485 to TTL. In the due course of the video, we'll explain the uh, problems facing in RS485 to TTL, which is available in the market. We'll be also using RS485 to USB to test the the functioning of the NPK sensor. Let us first plug in the NPK sensor into the soil. Avoid hard surface. Uh, it is better if it is slightly wet. And we will be providing the 12 volt adapter to the NPK sensor. That is a brown and the black wires. Let us connect the RS485 to USB uh, to the sensor. It has got only two wires as it is mode bus RTU protocol, RS485 protocol. Blue is always B and yellow is A. Do not reverse this OS. Plug in the USB to RS485 to PC. It will provide a pro port, communication port if you install the CH340 driver. Let us use cool term software to test the NPK sensor. Open the cool term software, open options and then select the port allotted to the RS485 to USB and select baud rate 4800. This NPK sensor supports only 4800. It will not support any other baud rate. This is very important. And uh, click on view hex as we are getting going to uh, operate messages in hex and then click on connect and then connections and send string as you are going to send array of uh, hex uh, request that is messages are exchanged in the form of data frames so to request the data from for nitrogen let us send this hex data 0103 01 is slave id of the npk sensor 03 is register function code and register address which is very very important 001e and uh, register length is 0001 and then the checksum we get the response from the NPK uh, the fourth byte of the uh, response has got the actual value that is 0020 here 20 is the actual value let us open the calculator and uh, feed in the hex value we will get the decimal equivalent same way for phosphorus request we send 01 that is a slave ID function code and then the register address 001f and we get the phosphorus value written value that is the fourth byte is always the data value same way for uh, potassium also we send the potassium request slave id function code and register address is 0020 here so the register address is very important and the potassium value is also written back this is the way you get the data by sending message request from Arduino and getting the data. There is also a software provided by the company which the download link is given in the description below. Download it and open this 485 software. Select your uh, device NPK. We are using NPK sensor. Select the sensor 485 soil sensor and select the port that is a USB 485 port number and baud rate is 4800 now click on connect automatically the message format is sent as seen previously the actual message is sent and you get the data in mg per kg this is just for testing purpose whether the soil uh, npk is working fine or not you can uh, before connecting to Arduino, you can do this test 
now let us connect the npk sensor with arduino as uh, npk sensor is modbus rtu protocol it requires one master there which is arduino and a slave which is npk sensor between this uh, we require one rs485 ttl converter but the available one in the market which is using max 485 ic does not suit our requirement it has got different voltage levels because of this we do not get data while using this max 485 to for a ttl We'll be using Max 13487 RS485 to TTL. This is manufactured by Neske Electronics Bangalore. This is a very reliable uh, uh, converter and it has got auto direction control. It does not need uh, DE and RE enabled for uh, half duplex transmit and receive. It has got load resistor 120 ohms and disk capacitors, protection diodes, everything inbuilt on the board. Uh, let us connect the blue wire to B and yellow wire to A and for connecting with Arduino let us connect to RX to RX and TX to TX it is straight connection it is not reverse as we are using so software serial let us you connect to that is RX pin to RX 3 TX to TX and power supply let us use it from uh, Arduino 5 volt to VCC and ground to ground let us see the Arduino code now we are using software serial so include the software serial dot header file and uh, we declare a uh, byte uh, that is array variable of type byte and it has got 8 bytes as uh, the message is sent in the 8 bytes to request the nitrogen value so 01 is the slave id 03 is the function code 001 is the register address where the nitrogen value is stored and then the request length, the register length is 0001 and then the checksum which is very important. Do not change this checksum. This is the format we send the request and the return value is stored in the uh, another uh, array of uh, byte type value uh, which is uh, named as value. And inside white setup we declare, we begin the serial at 4800, no other baud rate is allowed. Inside void loop we call the nitrogen function and store the value of the nitrogen inside the value it is declared as byte so this is the byte uh, that is nitrogen function we use the serial dot write that is the software serial we are using so mode dot write the 8 bytes of data we use the serial dot write to send the message a request and uh, the npk sensor will return a message and which is stored in the values so after a delay we use the for uh, uh, loop and we store the red value that is the river return value to the bytes variable array variable and we use the serial dot print to print the return value in hex this is for just for our serial monitoring and then we return the value at byte 4 this is the written value from npk sensor that is uh, uh, seven bytes of data zero one is the slave id function uh, code is zero three bytes to read is zero two and actual data is zero zero two zero this is the nitrogen value so this is located at byte four we'll be uh, passing out this data and convert and print it on the serial monitor so we get the nitrogen value now let us update the code for all the three uh, values that is a nitrogen phosphorus and potassium so in the code we have to add the message request for uh, phosphorus and potassium for phosphorus the register address is 001f and for uh, potassium the register address is 0020 this is the message request we have to send to the npk sensor it is de all declared in array variable of type byte the written variable is also of uh, array of type uh, byte and inside void loop let us add the for value 2 and value 3 let us declare it as byte before calling the next function of uh, potassium or uh, phosphorus a uh, delay of uh, 1500 or 2000 is a must uh, this is very important otherwise the values will be overlapped First the nitrogen function is called, next the phosphorus and then the potassium. Now inside the uh, 
uh, wide loop let us print the values using the serial dot print this is for our uh, view purpose and uh, similar to the way of uh, nitrogen function let us uh, write the potassium function inside the potassium function we use the serial dot write that is the software serial mod dot write the 8 bytes of data where we uh, call the 0, 0, 1 of register this uh, register address is very important and then we wait for the uh, data the npk uh, data of phosphorus and we store it in the uh, values array and we retrieve the data at position byte 4 same way we do it for the potassium uh, potassium value also we read the value at byte 4 and we print it in the serial monitor now you can see all the three values printed in the serial monitor you can see the uh, message request in hex first the message request for nitrogen next the for phosphorus and then the potassium and all the three values are printed in mg per kg now let us add a OLED for a display purpose 0.96 OLED uh, let us connect the SCL to A5 and SDA to A4 and VCC to 5 volt and ground to ground. This connection is very simple. And let us update the code. As we are using 0.96 uh, OLED, let us uh, include the Adafruit GFX library and then the uh, SSD 1306 library. That is the uh, function IC of the OLED and we uh, create an object for the OLED with all these credentials that is the uh, screen width and height we declare the object and then we use the display function uh, to display it on the OLED uh, finally we use the display function uh, to display the actual value on the OLED the actual code is given in the description below you can download it other functions are all same only the OLED uh, section we are changing now after resetting you can see the values NPK sensor is initializing and then the actual values are displayed on the OLED these are the values we received while testing previously thank you for watching